remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. When will a governing board be constituted for the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC? This is one question agitating the minds of several interest groups in the Niger Delta, awaiting an immediate constitution and confirmation of a new board to pilot the affairs of the commission. In his response, Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswell Akwabio, whose ministry supervises the NDDC, has however appealed for calm in the region as a new board will be constituted at the appropriate time. Lately, several interest groups in the Niger Delta have taken to the streets in protest against perceived delay in the appointment of a new NDDC board. One of such groups, an association of NDDC contractors, recently barricaded the NDDC corporate headquarters in Port Harcourt, demanding debts owed its members by the commission. We will not take it anymore. Yeah. The president must address us and bring the board and pay us all our money. Please, bring the board and pay the contractors. In August 2019, President Mohamedou Buhari named a new board for the NTDC, but later disbanded it and ordered a forensic audit of the Commission's activities in the month of October. Final reports of the forensic audit on NDDC activities over a period of 19 years was submitted to the Presidency in September 2021. According to Chairman Board of Trustees of the NDDC Contractors Association, Joe Adia, there is no justification for keeping the long-awaited board in abeyance given the length of time taken to conclude the forensic audits. We gave a long period to allow the board to come in, to allow Akpabio to do what is right, to allow Mr. President to do what is right, to inaugurate, to swear in the board. A board was inaugurated over two years ago. Then something came up like a scam. We are here we are, and we are going to stay here. We are going to stay here till they bring the board and pay us what they are owing us for God's sake. Responding to the growing clamor for the constitution of a new NDDC board, Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswil Akbabio, whose ministry supervises the commission, has assured Niger Deltans that a new board will be constituted upon the recommendation of the president. In a statement signed by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, Babayo Ardo, Senator Akbabio advised restive elements in the Niger Delta not to stampede Mr. President into inaugurating a new NDDC board after previous boards had supervised the malfeasance that went on for 18 years until the just-concluded forensic audit of the NDDC was instituted in October 2019. In the statement, Senator Akbabio observed that, and I quote, Part of the strategy to reposition the NDDC was the recent setting up of a forensic audit to understand what went wrong despite the resources committed to the commission over the years. The report of that audit has just been submitted to Mr. President, who is studying it to come up with a formula for a commission fit for purpose, unquote. In the meantime, some discerning observers of recent developments in the NDDC have submitted that a little more time to act on final reports of the forensic audit would do no one any harm. One time minority leader of the Cross River State House of Assembly, Honorable Kletus Obun, and youth activist in the Niger Delta, Ambassador Bright Abali, want those clamoring for immediate appointment of a new board to have a rethink. What the forensic audit has done is what should be consolidated with a white paper which forms a template for what the next board should have. It's not enough for us to take all this time and spend all this money on forensic audit and then bring a board that will come and be groping in the dark again and giving excuses. For me, that is where we are. We have waited this long. If we can tell the president, Mr. President, we'll give you another six months. Please give us a template so that the board that is, whatever happens, the board that is coming will see the Niger Delta. The region can wait for a little while to really get the best hand to really serve in the NDDC. The best hand here, I mean, technocrats, professionals that can really bring the desired development in the region. The report of the forensic audit shows that many hands from this stand, even political hands, 
influences from political parties. So I advise that the commission should really come up and do what will transform the region as an interventionist agency. The NDDC was established through an act of parliament in 2000 to transform the Niger Delta. Over the years, the region's largely backward communities had scored the intervention agency low in carrying out its mandates, prompting the government of President Buhari to revamp the commission with ongoing reforms in the system. Groups demanding immediate constitution of a new NDDC board are enjoined, therefore, to give the Buhari administration more time to achieve what seemed impossible before this time. Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, making a difference. Inside the Niger Delta, 